like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 82 says the predicted price, P in dollars, of an item can be modeled by the function P of T. And then the function is given here. Where P naught, which is how you read this P with a little zero subscript, P naught is the initial price of the item, and T is the amount of time in years after the initial price was established. Based on the model, if the price of one gallon of milk is expected to be $4.69 in the year 2020, in which of the following years will the price of one gallon of milk be closest to $3.95? So I'm going to go ahead and just retype this equation. And uh, we know that, let's go ahead and just retype it first. We know that in 2020, the price is $4.69. So what we can do is use that as our initial price. And then, you know, all these other years are going to be before that happens. So the T values for each of these will be negative. So, uh, yeah, so the initial price is going to be four sixty nine, dollars and that's going to be in the year 2020. So there's two ways we could go about solving this. The first way is going to be to essentially plug in three ninety five dollars here to our price that we're interested in, and then solve for T. The other way we could do it is we could just plug in the values for t into the equation and see which one's 395. Now, depending on your level of comfort solving an equation where you have a variable in the exponent, it may be easier just to go ahead and plug in these different t values. So for example, if 2020, and maybe I'll make a little note, if 2020 represents uh, or uh, is represented by t equals zero, then let's, let's come up with a t value for each one of these years. So 2009, that's 11 years before 2020. So we'll say that for choice A, t would be negative 11. 11 years before 2020. That would mean also that 2010 would be t equals negative 10, because 2010 is 10 years before 2020. 2014 would be six years before 2020, so the t value there would be negative six. 2015 is gonna be t equals, uh, let's see, well, negative five. And 2025 would be five years after 2020. We, we can tell right away this isn't going to be the answer because the price that we're interested in is less than 469. Um, and our multiplier here, our growth factor, is going to be greater than 1. So we know that the price is going up. So right away we could take E out. But basically here's the idea. We're gonna, and I'm going to show you um, the algebra here in a minute. But what I would recommend is you plug in these T values into this T up here and just calculate this out with your calculator and see which one's the closest to 395 and that's going to be your answer. But I do want to show you how to write, work this out sort of the proper way which is to actually solve for t using logarithms. So again if you're not really comfortable using logarithms to solve this equation then go ahead and just you know it, it might actually even be faster to just type in these different t values and see which one gives you the right answer. Um, but just uh, for a little bit of practice here we're going to go ahead and solve this, see what happens. So I'm going to plug in 395 as my final amount. Oops. And I'm going to solve for t here. So the first step is going to be to divide both sides by 469. So I'm going to have 395 divided by 469. And when I divide the right-hand side by $4.69, um, that's just going to reduce to 1. So that, that coefficient is going to go away. Okay, so this is where I've got an exponential equation that I need to rewrite as a logarithm. Essentially what I want to do is take the log base 1.035 of both sides, and that will isolate the t for me. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. t equals log base... Uh, let's see here, 1.035 
of this fraction, and I'm not even going to bother typing this into the calculator until the very end. Now, because you only uh, will have access to a scientific calculator, um, we can't type it in like this, right? You can't type in any base you want into a scientific calculator, so we do have to use the change of base formula here and rewrite this in terms of log base 10 or log base E. I'm just going to go with log base 10 for simplicity's sake. So this would be log of this fraction divided by log of the, the original base here, which is 1.035. So now this is something you can go ahead and type into the calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my calculator here. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we want to go ahead and type that in. Um, we've got log of $3.95 divided by $4.69. And that's going to be my numerator. And so I'm going to divide by log of 1.035, which basically means that the item is increasing in price by 3.5% each year. Yeah, so we get here. So I get really close to, so it says negative 4.99. That's really close to negative 5. So um, going back to look at my different choices here, I can see that my answer here is going to be choice D. Um, 2015 is five years before 2020. So we know that uh, the T value there is going to be negative 5. And if you were going through the answer choices and just kind of plugging in these different T values, um, once you get there, and I'll just kind of show you how that, that, that that actually would work. If I type in 4.69 uh, times 1.035 to the power of negative 5, I'm going to get a number, or I should get a number, hopefully, that's really close to $3.95. And you can see that this would round to $3.95. So the answer is D here, and that's it for number 82. Thanks for watching, and you all have a great day.